Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a process video using one of the cut files from my cut file shop called Just Nick. Um, this is the cut files that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to actually use that Love This cut file. You can see here I've already gone ahead and cut that out of some pattern paper. It's actually one from Simple Stories. I just chose the kind of plain um, mint colored pattern paper. I think it was actually on a piece of paper that had a gold heart in the corner, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I'm not really good with papers like that where there's like pre-printed designs in one area. But I really like that mint color, so I thought I'll just use that um, and cut it out for this title. And that's what I like about my silhouette is I can kind of figure out where I want to cut and line it up on my machine so I don't kind of waste the whole middle of the page figuring out what I'm doing. And I'm actually just using some white cardstock here and I've trimmed it down and I'm just layering it over top of a polka dot um, paper that's actually from Simple Stories to coordinate with the IM collection. And I've used a leftover piece of another die cut that I had. This was a freebie I did for Scrapbook and Card Today magazine. And I think this one was one of the April uh, free the freebies. And uh, you can get that off their blog. If you go to scrapbookandcardstoday.com, there's a section there for downloads. And there's a whole bunch of freebies there that we do every month. So um, check that out. Anyway, I'm just adding here the little bits that were in for the insides of those letters. I just ran into my Xyron. And I'm just going to kind of use my paper piercer here to line them up inside the letters. And then I realized, uh, of course, that I missed one of these little circles and I chucked it out. And that was for the S, but I'll just live with that. You probably won't be able to tell even later anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this down. I'm not sure why I didn't actually stick that down before I put the little bits in. That would have been probably a smarter move. And then um, I kind of know I want where I want things to go on my page. At least I think I do. And this is where I run into some trouble. So I kind of had the basic idea for the page where I would do the title and it would be this big brush script and then be kind of cute and then I'm like okay well what about the rest of it what about all the embellishing and the layering and all other jazz so kind of grab some papers and you can see here I've matted my photo onto one and I'm gonna layer some other pieces in behind and then I pull out some of these um, bits that I've already cut down because I'm better with bits than big sheets and then I end up cutting some of these uh, cut apart journaling cards like this pink one here I love that kind of damask pattern is that the right word damask damask pattern so I'm going to use that for sure. And then I cut down a few others just because I'm not sure 100% what I want to layer over top of that pink one. And uh, it gives me a couple different options. And worst comes to worst, I at least have the them cut for another page later. So I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of stitching to my photo area here. I've just layered it over top of another piece of yellow pattern paper and did a bit of a zigzaggy stitch there. And then I know this photo is going to go kind of underneath my um, brush stroke title. So I'm just going to add some stitching just on just a couple little lines there. You can, can't see I'm doing it off camera, but just a couple little lines underneath the title just to kind of help it stand out a little because that photo is going to go right layered underneath there. And then I decide to grab um, some items from my scrap bucket. So this here is going to be some vellum that I'm just going to end up ripping off and sticking in behind and I start off putting it on each end and then I realize that's making kind of the photo too wide on the page so I decided instead to just kind of add a little bit a layered in the top kind of left corner there almost like a bit of a huge photo tab I like photo tabs and they're they're kind of just easy way to add behind your photo um, so the vellum's a nice kind of touch because you can still see that stitching underneath and then I really, really, really wanted to use this mint and black polka dot uh, gold foiled card, but I realized it's kind of too much mint, um, like all of the same shade in one on one on the page. So I thought about adding some black droplets, and I decided not to at this point, but I will do that later. So then I'm kind of like, oh, I'll take that off, and where I want to put that pink card I trimmed down, I know I want to use it because I know I want to bring in a lighter shade of pink because I will be using a bunch of these flowers that I've cut out from um, one of the pattern papers. So I want to bring in that lighter pink as well as that darker pink I have around the outer edge. So I decided to use the journaling card there, kind of vertically instead of horizontal. 
and then add that uh, smaller 3x4 card just over top to start off my kind of floral pattern that I'm going to build in this little corner of the photo. And I'm primarily doing this because I want to hide those baseball players there out of the photo because my poor daughter has to not suffer, but she has she goes to dance once a week and then she spends literally six other days attending soccer and baseball games and um, I'm sure it's not super much fun for her, although she has a little buddy at baseball she kind of runs around and plays with, which is good. Um, but I know she's bored half the time. And she's a trooper. Like, she comes with her bag of goodies. She always has some new toy or craft or something to do. But uh, I feel bad for her. She's kind of bored. You can tell when they're bored. And I get very into the baseball game. I'm one of those parents. <laughs> so, um, you know. This particular day, she was acting kind of goofy, so I took a couple photos, and her two teeth there are missing, and one of them is now starting to stick through, so my husband tells me I need to take a lot of photos while the, it's the last of our children with the, the no teeth in the front, so he's right. It's kind of sad. It's like one of the last rites of passage is losing your front teeth and, and getting that, getting them, so... Anyway, what you didn't see there off camera is I put that overlay. That was a Simple Stories overlay. And I did remove that flower in the top corner. But I actually ended up stapling that overlay on just to kind of hold it in place so it didn't wiggle around very much. And then I just stuck the flower back down over top. I know, earth-shattering science, things that no one has ever imaginedly thought of before. I just did that with that staple. I'm just joking. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much just adding some little bits now. Here's where I decide to start off with my droplets again. I need to stop using black droplets everywhere. I'm even annoying myself. You can say it, it's okay. And then I have all these Simple Stories embellishments, not all of them, but a really good collection of them. I actually went to a crop and um, went a little hog wild on the Simple Stories stuff. They had all, everything there. And then I got a surprise box from my friend Becky Fleck and she sent a whole bunch of other stuff in there so I end up having a couple of the same items so I'm trying to use up some of them and then uh, truthfully I'll, I'll probably give away some because there's no way I'll get through the second pack of frames for example even though I love those frames and I wish one fit on this po photo because I would have totally used it. So I'm just adding some stickers here that I got off the sticker sheet, and I've just actually put some pop dots behind just so it raises them up. Um, and yes, and if you can't really see this, obviously, but I just actually, with my hands, did the, did the raising up thing with my hands. Yeah, I'm sure you care about that right now. And uh, Keep talking, Nicole. So yeah, I'm just going to add these little hearts here. And I actually cut off a little bit of a journaling card there on the bottom uh, in the photo and just layered it, tucked it underneath just to layer it on. And that was actually one of the, actually it wasn't on a journaling card, that was in one of the overlays. I just trimmed off the gold stars pattern there from the overlay. And what else did I do? I think this pretty much is it for the page. I... I, I really pulled out a lot of the stickers and decided um, I didn't want to go too, too crazy. And I did add a yellow heart sticker to that overlay just to fill in one of the hearts. And then I ended up deciding that I really liked the um, banner piece in one of the pattern cut parts there. So you can see I'm just kind of trimming that down and adding it along my top corner. Felt like it was just a little too to open there and I like a full page I don't like I'm not a big on the white space I, I, I'm really not great at that at all um, I probably should have just left it but it's okay I kind of like how the it turns out in the end with the little pendants around the edge and I did trim them down a little bit because some of them were too long for that area so in the final shot you'll see I kind of trimmed down a little bit of the you know the, the ben pennants there and then I decide to add in another pre-cut flower um, and it's the one of the yellow ones you'll see I grab it in a second and work that into my banner because I did want to have a little bit more yellow in my page because I did put it on my um, paper there behind my photo but it was kind of too large on its own so I ended up adding it in as part of my banner so to speak and you'll see that just I, I, my video camera cut out, of course, right when I got to the end. So you won't see that, but you'll get the basic idea. So yeah, 
I really love those pretty flowers. Those are my kind of flower. I'm not a frilly, frou-frou kind of girl. So, you know, it kind of works for me. And I just grabbed my enamel dot basket. Yes, I have a gazundron enamel dots in that basket. All right, so here's a close-up shot of that cut file. It's kind of fun. I, I really love that one. And here's my page. And that's pretty much it for me. So thanks for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you want to check out my cup files, just head over to my cup file shop at justnick.myshopify.com. And I'll be back really soon with another process video. Have a good day.